Where's the other panel? Techs prepare the stage at Performing Arts San Antonio for an evening with Nosferatu. So creepy. <laughs> I get to do all these wonderful entrances and come out of a casket. I mean, this is an actor's dream. Trust me, as carnival as many people might think that may be, you show me an actor that would not want to put on a great cape and walk with it. As cornball as a cape-wearing Nosferatu rock opera might sound, Nosferatu star Derek Berlin says the show taps into a much darker vein. You can cross the line and it becomes hokey. This is something that you can really take to the edge drama-wise. If you're going to really tell the story, you can't camp it up. You've got to go for the gusto and make him as bad and as evil and as awful as as he can be or, you know, or what's to redeem, right? Director Vaughn Taylor Tinder says watching audiences get sucked into Nosferatu's fall and redemption is the secret to live theater's immortality. They've gasped, they've jumped, they've, they've laughed at themselves for being, you know, um, kind of pulled into it and, and shocked. You know, when they thought they were so cool that they wouldn't be shocked, but they were, you know. It's been great. If you'd like to enjoy all the coffin -y goodness of Nosferatu, the rock opera, you can come to Performing Arts San Antonio this weekend and next. For more on that, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Working on my coffin hands, JT Street, Fox News at 9. Surprisingly spacious in here.